What is it now? Oh, well, I'm very surprised. I came down here expecting you bunch of wallies to sound like, like a cat being doctored without anaesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> you're very good. All right, you're not quite up to the standard of Spanner Ballet or Durham Durham. <laughs> there is something about your music that I like. like. It's... Well, it's got something. I only hope it ain't catching. <laughs> <laughs> if this is all some build-up, some very funny joke, would you just tell us all now and stop wasting everybody's time? Not a joke, Rodney. No, not a joke. I mean it. I'm very impressed. Very. Bravo! Bravo! Of course, you do realise that you're all going to flop like a jelly on a wet mattress, don't you? Oh, yeah. Why are we going to flop? Because you're undisciplined. You ain't going to go nowhere until you get your act together. Yeah? Well, my mate's cousin works for a rebel company and he reckons he can get us a contract. Oh, yeah, and my mate's a doorman down at Chelsea, but he can't get me a bloody game, can he? <laughs> now you're still rough around the edges. I mean, why don't you take a butcher's at yourselves? You look like something a cat has dragged in and then dragged out again. <laughs> You've got to shut it. We like looking like this. We're Marxist, Trotskyite anarchists. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so why do you want to be superstars then? Because we want to be rich, Marxist, Trotsky, or anarchists. <laughs> not, not too rich. No. Just a little bit rich. Money ain't everything. No, but it certainly takes the sting out of being poor, though, doesn't it? <laughs> now, it strikes me that what you need, you need um, someone to steer you in the right direction, you know, look after your interests. Well, what you need is a manager. Now, hold on, hold on. Don't look at me. No, no, because a bloke who comes your manager, he's got to buy you all new equipment, hasn't he? And you've got to get new drums, new guitars, and a new set of speakers. Oh, oh. No, that's going to cost an arm and a leg. I thought you said we was good. You are good. You're all natural. You've got raw talent. Hey! Drop out! Don't want to put your money where your mouth is, though, do you? Do you think I'm the kind that won't back my instinct? You know me, Rodney. He who dares wins. <laughs> the back of the matter is, um, Mickey, the funds are a bit tight at the moment. You're an awful wally, Trotter. Uh, oh, yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're ready. All we thought, Dale. All right, you win. I will be your manager. I'll get you bookings. You just see if I don't. What about instruments, though? I'll get that as well. Oh, don't listen to him. We'll probably end up with a chuck away from some boy scouts band. <laughs> no, you won't. All your instruments and equipment will be brand new. You write down what you want and I'll get it for you. Because I'm going to make an investment in you, lads. This time next year, we're going to be millionaires. I can see it now. The Albert Hall, Carnegie Hall, the Hollywood Bowl, the revolutionary new sound of pop protest. You don't know any of the bachelor's numbers, do you? <laughs> no, all right, well, no, it doesn't matter. No, not important. Well, you carry on rehearsing, because I'm going to put this show on the road. Well, come on, let's hear you. Your manager has spoken. Right. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, back! Mr. Pear, you've heard it. Thank <laughs> you.